Los Altos on K Drive, and we have a Chinese elm that failed. The tree had a leaning trunk to it, and uh, was recently pruned, not excessively, just the major deadwood. And there was nothing that um, alerted me to the fact that there was an underground weakness. But um, inspection of the root system shows me that all the roots down in through here um, are decayed. And you can see white strands, you can see the, the weakness in the roots, and it's got um, a white rot fungus going on throughout the root system. These sort of underground problems are so difficult to um, identify. You know, this this was all under the ground, and you can see that right at the base it was uh, pretty rotted. Another interesting thing to note is that elm trees, including the Chinese elm trees, uh, generally are pretty stable trees. You don't see a lot of uh, root rot like you see in this particular tree. Um, now the lean, a leaning tree is always something to be aware of, but there are many, many circumstances where leaning trees do just fine. So that's um, not always a reason to say that there is a problem. Um, the underground root decay was uh, not something that could have been recognized or identified unless there was um, a root crown excavation, and even at that point it might have been difficult to, to interpret. Now there is some drying out at the base of the tree. Um, my first thought that that was uh, a lawnmower injury from being impacted by um, a mechanical injury. And um, the decay that I see extends all the way around the base of the tree. Now there's, there's another possibility here that this tree um, shifted a long, long time ago and rather than always having grown crooked, it may have had some root cracking from a, a long time ago that uh, led to long-term decay. But when you look at the foliage, the foliage on the tree looks really, really good. There isn't any signs of um, fungal activity. There aren't any mushrooms growing on the lawn. There aren't any uh, basidia carps or fungal brackets growing on the, the trunk of the tree. Uh, the fact that the lawn grows right up to the edge of the tree could have been a contributing factor. And it's also very, very possible that um, the sprinklers, this is probably a rain bird, have been constantly hitting the trunk of this tree throughout the entirety of its life. Uh, a lot of times water on a tree will cause a lot of problems. Usually you can see it in the trunk, but in this case it may have led to um, a wetter environment than this tree may have um, been able to tolerate. So, the, yes, there is root decay. Um, this is a really tough call. I, uh, I remember talking about this tree and, and I did not believe that this tree was on the verge of, of failure. But I guess I was wrong. Now I'm deep down underneath the stump and you can see areas of, of white rot and the bark is just peeling off of all the roots. So that's an indicator that the entire root system had been rotting for a long, long time. That's really sad. You can see more white rot back over there on the roots that, that peeled off. And the soil is very, very moist, even down deep. Yeah, this is not something that I could have predicted. And it's kind of sad because this was a really beautiful tree and had a lot of character. Chinese elm, almost part of the foliage.